Ok Boleh semua? Semua ready? Ok gambar ok Alright Alhamdulillah So untuk kelas hari ini kita akan uh, proceed dengan topik number 6 code converter <coughs> Dalam code converter apa kita going to learn adalah Pertama ialah kita akan belajar apa itu code converter Encoder, parity encoder, parity encoder IC Decoder, decoder IC, decoder application and display decoder Bagi topik encoder dengan decoder tak banyak sebenarnya dalam final Alright, tetapi uh, konsep uh, you kena faham understanding about concept is much is very important sebab ada topik-topik juga ditanya uh, tetapi tak banyak sebenarnya. Alright. <coughs> okay. First of all, uh, kita tengok apa itu code converter. Code converter is being used for input and output devices lah bagaimana kita place code converter in between contoh keyboard, in between IO devices yang lain lah. So, kalau kita tengok gambar ini, anak boleh nampak? Alright. So, this is block diagram for simple calculator. Why actually we use encoder ataupun decoder, alright, untuk uh, display, uh, LED display for, uh, kita panggil kal simple calculator, this example. Contoh kat sini, input device, keyboard where you enter the number. Okay, boleh nampak kat sini, kita ada uh, keypad ataupun keyboard yang mana kita boleh uh, place the input there alright between the keyboard dengan CPU kita memerlukan encoder encoder ini diperlukan untuk encode from DC uh, kita kita panggil decimal value kepada binary value sebab kita tahu CPU hanya boleh proses binary value after that alright kita nak display balik kepada LED display we need decoder to decode balik from binary kepada Uh, decimal value Alright, until we get the number or the result will be displayed dekat LED display uh, this is how where we use decoder and encoder alright, boleh? ok, so fungsi encoder dengan decoder ini ialah for converter alright, it will translate from tadi encoder adalah daripada ok, kita nampak encoder sini we have encoder encoder tadi daripada decimal kepada binary Boleh? Why decoder Nampak eh? Decoder kat sini adalah We have binary From CPU Then we want to display LED display Ini adalah uh, Kita panggil display lah tadi kan Alright So ini adalah number decimal back We want to convert or translate From binary to decimal back Using decoder Alright So now this is uh, the the simple example of block diagram for calculator. Alright. So now kita tengok seterusnya. Apa itu encoder? Alright. So encoder ada beberapa type of encoder. Saya mencari duster. Hmm. Alright, there are few type of encoder. Alright. So again, encoder fungsi dia lah untuk encode from Decimal to binary Supaya CPU boleh buat Processing or execution Alright So now Ada berapa jenis Type of encoder Antaranya ialah Empat dua This is type of encoder oh, Bagus Kita boleh kena whiteboard Alright We have type of encoder This type of encoder Alright So contoh yang paling simple adalah Empat dua So we have four input For example Alright We have four input 1, 2, 3, 4 And then we have 2 output This we call 4, 2 Alright We have another one We have 8, 3 Okay We have 8, 3 Which is have 8 input And 3 output We have 10, 4 This one used for uh, BC decoded Alright We have another one lah 16, 4 Boleh? Okay Alright Seterusnya kita tengok adalah topik Encoder still Alright so here Okay Page number Maybe tak pasti page number berapa You just follow you punya uh, Nota Nota you can download from My uh, Island Madam Maziah Muhammad Dekat situ ada nota powerpoint Alright so example here The job of the encoder in the calculator lah Translate again from decimal Kepada binary Alright decimal kepada binary A block diagram BCD tadi Mereka dia beritahu This stand for Adalah for BCD Alright BCD 
Okay, kemudian I call it 10 input I'm going to 10 input and 4 output Alright, the encoder may have one active input And produce a unit output At one time, dia hanya ada one uh, Active input and produce a unit output Alright, itu adalah encoder Alright, now this is truth table For 10, 4 or the BCD encoder Alright, 10 Meaning that 10 input 4 adalah 4 output Alright, you can see from here Alright, we have 0 sampai 9 Kat sini terus eh 0 sampai 9 Nampak? We have 0 sampai 9 0 sampai 9 Okay, di mana total lah 10 Okay, boleh? Kemudian from 0 sampai lah Kat sini adalah, sorry From, this is one one time hanya satu sahaja yang aktif Alright, so pada uh, pada awalnya ialah 0 aktif Alright, nampak kat sini sampailah nombor 9 So at one time we have here A, B, C, D lah Output dia this 0, this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 Alright, this is how encoder punya truth table Contoh kat sini If a decimal input 4 is activated Input 4 is activated Alright, 4 become 1 So the output adalah 4 Alright, which is 0, 1, 0, 0 this is how this is encoder how encoders working. Kemudian kita tengok seterusnya this is an example tadi. Alright. So now we look at on this from here from encoder 10 for BCD encoder uh, from truth table kita boleh produce kita panggil ini adalah equation, boolean expression and also the logic circuit. Alright. Example we can see bagi A output A Alright, bagaimana nak tengok? You tengok kat sini A A hanya aktif 1-1 mm aktif So, kat sini kita tengok adalah 8 plus Ataupun 8 or kan dengan 9 We will get A A equal to 8 plus dengan 9 We look at on B B ada 1, 2, 3, 4 This is how we use apa? SOP so, Sum of product We choose uh, output equal to 1 And then kita buat apa? Kita buat ending Alright, now we look at here Okay, B equal to This one adalah number 4 Or kan dengan 5 Or kan dengan 6 And or kan dengan eh, Sorry Or kan dengan 7 Alright, so kita tengok tadi B 4, 5, 6 and 7 Alright, again we look at the C Alright, C We have here 1 is SOP Choose uh, the result Output equal to 1 We have C1 1, 2, 3, 4 So here C adalah 2 Plus dengan 3 Alright And then Plus again dengan 6 and plus 7 Alright 6 and 7 Okay we look at an example here We have C 2 plus 3 plus 6 plus 7 Alright So next we look at on D output Alright D output we we choose We call as odd Alright, ataupun ganjil Look at here This is ganjil This is 0, 1, 2, 3 Alright, 3 Then 5 7 And here adalah 9 All the ganjil number lah So here we can see D equal to ganjil of 1 Nampak? D equal to 1 3, 5, 7 and 9 So this is D Alright, after that From here We can make the uh, block logic a equal to A, A, A or can dengan 9 B, 4 or can dengan 5 or can dengan 6 and or can dengan 7 C, uh, 2 or can dengan 3 or can dengan 6 and or can dengan 7 This all get, get logic or Remember, D Alright, we have 5 input D, we have 1 or can dengan 3 or 5 or 7 and or 9 This is what we call uh, BCD uh, Encoder circuit From the truth table We come up dengan uh, Boolean expression Then we get the logic circuit Alright, boleh? So, jelas? Okay, now Alright, so that is how we design uh, BCD tadi Now we look at another example Ialah 4 uh, Time 4 2 encoder Alright, di mana Only input is activate at one time so now we use the whiteboard to show this uh, process or this flow. Alright, so we first of all 
we draw the truth table for 4 and 2 4 to encode them Right, we have here Nampak tak jelas? Okay, merah Okay, we have 4, 2 So, we have 4, 2 encoder It means that Okay Boleh? Alright, we have 4, 2 Means that we have 4 input And we have 2 output Alright We have 4 started from 0 Sorry we have 1, 2, 3 And here let's say we have A and B Okay Alright so now This one we complete first 0 At one time only 1 will be activated So means here we have 1, 0, 0, 0 0, 1, 0, 0 0, 0, 1, 0 0, 0, 0, 1 Alright boleh? Jelas? Okay kita tengok example Okay so now from here we know that this one at lapa okay we have this one at zero this one at one this one at two this one at three right so from truth table we can come up with the Boolean expression bagaimana we have a a this one lah this one and this one which one at lah two plus three right two plus three bagaimana kita tahu this one at lah zero one two three so 2 and 3 B we have for odd So B adalah 1 plus 3 Correct? Alright, jelas? So this is we call truth table This we call Boolean expression Okay, from Boolean expression We can draw logic circuit How to draw? Easy We have A and B as input Nampak tak? Okay, we have A and B input and we, sorry, we have 0, 1, 2, 3 as input And we will have A, B as output So this is gate all Okay So for A, alright, the input is 2 and 3 We have 2 and we have 3 For B, we have 1 plus 3 is all Okay, 1 Plus three, we are done. All right, that's it. Okay, so that is very simple. All right, so this is an example of four two encoder. Bye. Okay, now we look at another example. What we call is purity encoder. All right, purity encoder means here. All right, active high input is shown as below. Di mana kat sini kita nampak kita use x. X adalah don't care. So we use uh, instead of we make it uh, zero, but we choose x, alright. So this x for don't care, alright. So kalau kita tengok kat sini, suppose if any, this is for x to uh, sorry for ten four B C D encoder, right? Suppose if any of the input zero one or two is activated, the output is equal to two. This is shown on the truth table as alright. Contoh kita ambil yang ni, alright. Kita ambil yang uh, kita panggil kat sini number 2 Activated Okay So we have x as 1 So that represent x as mean then don't care It represent Okay kau tengok nota sebab kat sini tak nampak So it represent x as It represent 4 condition 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 Alright So kat sini there are 5 possibility Sorry there are total 4 uh, possibility uh, For this condition Alright, kalau kita buat dalam bentuk uh, Kita panggil equation kat sini We will get this Right, we will get this Right, so this we simplify using this method Alright, so this example It's same here for 4, 2, pretty encoder Right, so we make as x Alright, so we will have more Kita panggil keberangkalian atau possible possibility Alright, so here Alright, so uh, This pretty encoder truth table Di mana ini adalah untuk uh, Kita panggil apa uh, We can simplify Using KMAP as well And the common chip used For this encoder Adalah 74147 And also 74148 Which two common IC encoder Used for this uh, Particular lah, this uh, we call as what This adalah 42 4, Alright, 42 kenapa 42 And then we get many uh, Possibility here Alright 
So now we look at on example This uh, adalah uh, Explanation about 74147 IC encoder Alright This essentially used when we make a digital circuit Punya project Why actually we want to make any project Using the chip So we can instead of making small component We can just buy the encoder Alright just really buy Di mana for 74147 Ada total last 9 input Alright Which is here 10 is used for 10 for with has 9 input value from 1 to 9 Alright Zero always no other key are pressed So that is zero There is no zero here because It assumes that no other key are pressed So they need only 9 From 1 to 9 input also Only here Alright That is 74147 IC encoder Alright 74148 encoder Love 3 Means that we have 8 0 sampai 7 And we have Three in output Alright So Alright This is the, the figure And we have another one Like E1 and E0 Alright So this is another encoder Alright Next So now we look at on Decoder Alright Decoder lah terbalik Daripada encoder tadi You see tadi We know that encoder Is convert from ban Decimal to binary Why Decoder used to convert back From binary to decimal So that we can make a display Like example tadi we have simple calculator application. We need calculator. We need a uh, LED display to display uh, the decimal value uh, after we press the keyboard or press the keypad on the uh, uh, calculator. All right. So that is used for decoder. So it decode back from uh, this binary to decimal. Back to decimal. All right. Boleh? Okay. Now, kita tunjuk kat sini. Okay, this is BCD. I'm oh, sorry, this is example la BCD uh, decoder. Right, this is BCD. So BCD decoder, we have four. Alright, then we will four, ten. So we have four input and ten output. Satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima, enam, tujuh, lapan, sembilan, sepuluh. Alright, this is BCD uh, decoder. Alright, di mana in, we have 10 output lines and we have 4 input lines. Okay. Okay, this is a truth table. Sorry, uh, you can see from you punya PowerPoint here. We have a truth table here. It shows that this is truth table for decoder, BCD decoder. We have 4 input A, B, C, D. Alright, then we have here we have output from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So total adalah 10 output. Alright? Alright, satu masa hanya satu will be actuated. Alright, so this is uh, from tadi we get, uh, we call this a boolean expression and then we get the logic circuit uh, designed for 410 decoder or BCD decoder. Alright, so this example for 2-4 decoder Alright, I'll draw here Okay, kita buat untuk 4-2 decoder 4-2 means that eh, Sorry, 4-2, 2-4 uh, Because this one convert From binary to decimal We have 2-4 2-4 So means that We have A, B We have 0, 1, 2, 3 Boleh? How about truth table? Truth table is very easy. We have A, B, and then we have 0, 1, 2, 3. A, B is input, 0, 1, 2, 3, which is the output. Alright, at one time only one will be activated. Alright, here we complete here first 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Alright, so here we have this one activated, this one, this one, this one. So the rest will be 0. Okay, that's it, the truth table So how about uh, we, The Boolean expression Boolean expression is like We have to choose uh, Because we use SOP So we choose uh, logic 1 uh, Ataupun output 1 So let's say here, this is output 1 for 0 This is output 1 for 1 1, 1 So let's say we have for 0 Okay, we can see here For 0, we have here not A Not B 
for one we have a not a b uh, c uh, sorry one two we have a not b all right three we have a b all right is that true Alright, so now from here we can draw the block diagram ataupun logic gates based on this Bunen expression. Alright, please refer to the page dekat nota. Alright, so now kita tengok seterusnya adalah BCD to decimal decoder. Alright, bagaimana sebenarnya kalau tengok kat sini. Alright, so kita tengok terus this one. Alright, display decoder Display decoder adalah bagaimana kita menggunakan For example, our calculator Our calculator have we call display decoder Ataupun 7 segment display Alright, you can see Setiap Alright, tak nampak kat sini Sebab gambar saya Alright, macam mana nak buat ya Sekejap, saya kecilkan Okay, boleh Okay, you can see Alright, from here you can see Alright, total we have A to G Alright, we have A, B, C, D E Sorry, we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G Alright, for example If you want to display 0 Alright, LED will be activated Like A, B, C, D, E, F Kalau kita nak display 1 Only B dengan C Kalau 2 means that this, this figure adalah display number 3 So if number 3 We will uh, we will activate this LED A, B, G, C, D and E Alright, so this is how decoder Ataupun display decoder Or 7 segment display work Alright, this is the output Alright, so kalau kita tengok kat sini Alright, this is how Alright, truth table for display decoder For example, we want to display number 0 Alright, first adalah number 0 Number 0 uh, yang LED ataupun will be activated lah A, B, C, D, E, F except G ok bagaimana tadi kalau kita nak display 0 alright kita tak mau G ke sahaja yang lain kita nak betul alright so that is here means that the output G will be 0 same goes to 1 kita nak 2 je B and C alright ini seterusnya until we get the complete punya truth table Alright, this is the truth table Alright, this uh, common segment display decoder If you buy the ready chip We can choose 7446 7447 7448 and 7449 You can google this number And you will see is, uh, there is data sheet uh, That you can read through uh, Which represent this particular chip uh, This commonly used for display decoder Alright, so That's it from me Alright, Madam Mazza for topic number 6 Topic number 6 is very simple The most important part yang you kena faham adalah How you differentiate encoder dengan decoder Alright, encoder used to convert from uh, Tadi from decimal to binary Why decoder is used to convert from uh, Binary to decimal back And then you have to remember what we call uh, Example of decoder encoder For 2, we have uh, 8, 2, 8, 3, 8, 3 Sorry, we have BCD 10 for alright and then you can faham purity encoder alright seterusnya in decoder side you can faham adalah the, the purpose for decoder adalah to translate atau to convert from binary to decimal and then how the punya uh, example tadi kita dah buat ialah decoder 2 for decoder BCD 10 for uh, sorry 410 alright and then you can faham bagaimana nak jerit truth table bagaimana nak buat equation dan seterusnya buat gate logic dan sebagainya and then one example use Dalam uh, decoder adalah display decoder Bagaimana setiap nombor Ataupun setiap nombor yang represent dekat calculator Contohnya dekat display calculator Is represent by setiap character Ataupun setiap logic Alright Tadi kita dah ada truth table For display uh, decoder Untuk uh, says that that specific number So that we can differentiate lah Yang mana setiap number yang display Mana yang activate Alright So itu sahaja pada Madam Mazda so kita berjumpa lagi kepada topik yang seterusnya Selamat maju jaya Okay bye Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh